Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to talk about connecting to spirits in the spirit world, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, it's Ray with Tarot Living. Thanks for joining. This is a channel about all things spiritual. So if you haven't subscribed already, you'll want to do so. So hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell notification in order to be notified that I've posted a video. So today we're actually going to talk about connecting to the spirit world. And this is really just a video about me sharing uh, some of my own personal experiences and how I've connected to the spirit world. So in terms of though how I've you know had connection with spirit um, in general, there are lots of different ways. I'm going to talk about five of them I think today and so hopefully you find this interesting. The first way that I'm going to talk about is that I have had, I've been fortunate enough I guess you could say to um, be able to see spirits you know in the night. So I'm sleeping and I wake up and I can actually see um, spirits and see spiritual energy. Uh, not all the time, it, you know, sometimes it'll go in phases, it'll come and go. Um, but I, you know, I can say that I feel like I've had the experience of the veil kind of, you know, being brought down and that I can sort of see the other side at times. It's very busy. <laughs> There's a lot of energy going on. The first time I saw a spirit, I was actually about 20 and I at least I thought it was. It was kind of like an apparition of light, which is I'm going to describe in a minute. That's how most of them come come to me, is in a light form. Uh, and I, but I was actually at that time I was slightly skeptical about it. I wasn't really sure if that's what I was seeing. And I was actually with somebody, and they said they could see it as well. And I thought, well, maybe it's just the light on the wall. Like maybe there's something going on there. So I thought, well, I'm just going to leave that one alone. And then when I was about this about 20 years ago, it was around like mid 30s, my uh, father was passing away and he um, was in hospice though at that time. And so I was staying with my mom and well, you know, we were going back and forth to the hospital. And so I had woken up that morning at about six or 6.30, which was unusual. I usually don't wake up that early. And it was an open room. It was actually a den and the den didn't have any walls. So it was like, um, kind of like a, a you know just off of a great room sort of thing and so there was a hallway beside this room and you could see the hallway and then going up the stairs so when I opened my eyes uh, you know at 6 30 I could see you know this apparition and this spirit that was standing in the hallway just straight in front of me and this is my reaction almost every time shock and then I'm like blinking a lot, more than I normally blink, because I blink a lot, <laughs> more than I normally blink. And I just think, well, my eyes will clear. Surely that's not there. No, that can't be. You know, all of those things go through your mind, right? So I just stared at it and stared at it. And I thought, no, no. And I kept blinking and it didn't go away. And it was there for, you know, I. I don't know, a minute maybe, which actually is quite a long time. Sometimes they fade quicker than that. But this one stayed for quite a while and I kept watching it and it was, um, and not all of them are like this, but this one was like a, almost like a spirit guide with a kind of a, a like a gown or what do you call it? Like a robe. Uh, so really traditional kind of a, a feel to it. And um, it was in light energy. So, and I say energy, when I'm looking at it, it looks like light and energy because it actually moves. There's a movement to the light and then the light is what gives it um, definition. So all of um, my uh, visions and my you know, spirits that I've seen have all been in a form of light in one way or another. Sometimes more detailed than other times, sometimes more hazy than other times and sometimes it stays longer than other times. So it's not necessarily always the same, but it is, oh, it is always light energy. And this uh, particular spirit in any event was um, kind of 
kind of praying. I really felt like it was a guide of my dad's or an angel who was maybe watching over my dad. And so we went to the hospital and he had passed away, I think maybe a day or two after that, after that vision. And so I really just felt like, you know, that was the other side coming to tell me, you know, he's going to be okay. We're going to help him cross over kind of thing. So, so that was the first time that I had a significant, you know, vision in my opinion. And then about 15 years ago or so, maybe even 17 years ago, I started seeing um, spirits in my room when I would wake up in the middle of the night on a regular basis. So this would happen like frequently. And then it's kind of faded off and then it came back and then it faded off again. And so I'm in a phase where I'm not seeing as much right at the moment, but it just comes and goes. And I feel like I can't really control it to any particular degree. You know, um, they, they show up when they show up and I'm able to see them when I'm able to see them. So as I say, it's very busy on the other side and there's a lot of different kinds of spirits that I've seen. And I'm going to do another video, which if you see a card above and you're gonna see a link to that video if it's ready and if I've been able to complete it and post it. Um, so that is the first way that I have connected with spirit. So the second way I wanna to talk to you about is seeing spirits, but this is actually seeing spirits through your third eye. And this way is very interesting. It's actually completely different than seeing um, through your physical vision. This is what I would describe as being almost similar to when you're dreaming. So when you're dreaming, you have your eyes closed, but in your dream, you can see things, you can envision, you can see color, you can see detail sometimes, great detail. And then sometimes you can only see things briefly and then they fade off. That is a third eye sort of um, vision for me. That's very similar to how it is. So when I see something with my third eye, there's two different times or ways that I would have that happen. So the first one is when I'm in meditation and I go into meditation for not only myself at times, uh, but for clients. So uh, before any client comes to me, I would always do you know grounding, protection, and, and opening my chakras and connecting to spirit. Um, and then after that, I would move on to, um, you know, embracing and talking to my own guides. And then I would ask for their guides to come forward. My guides are always on the right and I ask their guides to come in on the left. So in my third eye, I can see all of this happening. So you have to go into, you know, you have to be in a meditative mode or I have to be doing a reading where I've raised my vibration level in order to have psychic information coming to me. So those are the two ways it can happen. So the first way, as I said, I'm in a meditation and I can see their spirit uh, guides coming toward me and then I have a discussion with them and they give me information. And uh, the other way that I would definitely see that is if I do an Akashic Record reading and I'm up at the Akashic Records and I'm connecting with all of the spirits up there and um, being given information and then I would be receiving visions through my third eye for that whole time. During a reading, I'll actually have that happen as well. So during a reading, I will have a, my vibration will be higher and there's a certain, and I'm gonna go through this in detail in other videos, but there's a certain thing that's happening when I am connecting and when my vibration is high and I can do that. And so information will be coming to me in my brain in terms of knowingness or details or in, like actual information or hearing something being said to me. Or I will have a vision come at the same time. I shouldn't even, see, even say or, it can be an and. So I can have information coming to me and then a vision. So in the readings, when I have a recording going, people will listen back to the recording and they'll hear me say on a regular basis, they're showing me. So that means that I'm seeing something or they're telling me means that I'm hearing something. Uh, and sometimes it's both. So that would be more the visions that I have from my third eye. And I'm gonna do a video as well on crystals and how to uh, connect with spirit through crystals and how to raise your vibration through crystals. And there's a lot for your third eye that you can use. So. That's uh, the second way that I wanted to talk about. The third way I wanted to talk about that I connect with spirit is hearing spirits. And generally speaking, that is an internal voice. And for most 
Uh, psychics or mediums, they will tell you that, that it is more of an internalized voice that you're hearing. It's fairly rare to hear something physically, although I have done that. Um, I have had them speak to me physically on occasion, and I'll actually hear it in my ear. Not during a reading, but during meditation or just when I'm waking up. But normally it's actually a running dialogue for me in my head, so I can hear things that they're saying or they're telling me, or um, just information is coming to me, and that's more like hearing with your internal ear. So when we say hearing, it's often not through our physical, um, you know, senses. And that's called clairaudience, by the way. And the seeing of the spirits in the third eye is, of course, clairvoyance. So um, the other way that I connect with spirit is feeling spirit standing next to me. And that's probably the one that's only been in the last five years, I would say. And so I'm still really working with that on a regular basis to increase that experience and to know what to gain from that because it is quite dramatic. So I'll be usually in the middle of a reading when this happens, although it can happen during meditation as well. But typically this happens while I'm in the middle of a reading. And I always tell somebody in my preamble before I start the reading, because this is happening on a regular basis now, that I'll say that if a spirit comes to stand next to me, they'll be on my left side and I'll feel it basically down my entire left side of my body. And I will immediately stop and tell you that there's a spirit standing next to me. And then usually there's one of two reasons that they're standing next to me. They're either there showing me or telling me that whatever it is that we're talking about in the reading is of paramount importance. So they, are, they show up when it's like really, really important or I'm really on target with whatever it is that is um, you know, being said or being communicated. Um, or it can be someone who's crossed over, it can be a loved one or a, even a guide, but someone who's crossed over um, who is wanting to communicate. And so then that would be where I have to stop and say, okay, I have to determine whether it's somebody who's crossed over and who might that be and that kind of thing. And so those are the things I'm still working with on a more regular basis. Whereas if it's anything else, I am able to pick up on it uh, quite quite easily. Um, I have been able to pick up on information from people who have crossed over, but I'm not primarily a medium. I'm primarily, uh, you know, a tarot card reader, uh, intuitive, psychic, and astrologer. So mediumship is something that I'm working with as I'm feeling the spirits now standing next to me, which is extremely easy for me to differentiate and to know And at this stage. And so I'm just working with uh, really picking up on who that might be at that moment rather than just knowing that they're there really picking up on who that might be and then also the fifth way is just re reading energy in general and this is really a whole area that I talked about at the beginning that I really believe everything is energy so for me picking up on um, energetic uh, information on the other side or energetic information from someone who's sitting in front of me is really all the same thing. It really feels like I'm connecting with spirit when I'm doing that. So that's why I put it in here as an example. There is a certain um, almost uh, a little, I don't want to say a trance uh, because it's not quite a trance, but there is a state that I go into when I'm doing a reading or when I'm in meditation, but particularly when I'm doing a reading and I'm passing along information. Um, you know, my voice changes a bit, my whole demeanor sort of goes to being focused on receiving information. And that receipt of information and that reading of energy is when my vibration is higher and I'm kind of meeting in the middle, you know, with spirits on the other side who are telling me things. And it also allows me to telepathically pick up information from those who have crossed over maybe and also pick up information from a client. Um, telepathy is one of the things that comes easy for me. So really, you know, and I think of thoughts as really an energy form. So uh, this is this is like reading energy to me. It's pretty much the crux of everything that I do in terms of my readings. That's how I feel about it, is that it is the crux of everything that I do. So um, connecting with spirit through energy is kind of a no-brainer for me. Like that is what I do. 
So I hope you found this interesting in some way. These are some of the experiences that I've had. So do leave a comment. Tell me some of the experiences you've had. Have you ever seen a spirit? Do you ever hear anybody? Um, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and join me on Facebook and Instagram. And also give me a thumbs up or a like. Take care and have a great day.